Flux, I have this weird nagging feeling that before we leave the palace, there's something we're supposed to do. You mean like, find out what we're supposed to do? Oh yeah, that was it. I guess we better talk to the royal engineer. The door is locked. Do you think King Hugh wants us to stay out of there? Heck no! I've always viewed a locked door as an invitation. Excuse me, could we have a word with you? Certainly, which word would you like? May I recommend goodbye? He who sure has a lot of trophies. Well done, sir. A keen observation. However, if I may be blunt, I find dusting a trifle difficult whilst engaged in such witty and insightful conversation. So if it's all the same to you, I suggest you gentlemen be on your way. Hey, wait a second. What kind of a butler are you anyway? For your information, no kind of butler at all. Are you blind, sir? Flux, look at him. I think he's a footman. What? So you're telling me a butler would be a great big... Right. <laughs> Time for us to shove off. Then please, by all means, shove off, sir. Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm afraid I don't have time to chit-chat right now. Finding my glasses is a tippy-top priority. So, you're the royal engineer. Where, oh, where are my glasses? Uh, excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm afraid I don't have time to chit-chat right now. Finding my glasses is a tippy-top priority. Where are they? I'm not leaving the palace until I find out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. We're back again. Very good, sir. May I say, sir has an unrivaled mastery of stating the obvious. We were just talking to a bird downstairs. You seemed a little flustered. Ah, you've had the misfortune of meeting Bric-a-Brac, our royal engineer. Bric-a-Brac seems to be having a bit of a problem. Allow me to go out on a limb, sir. Bric-a-Brac has lost his glasses. Yes. That's right. I don't suppose he has checked his pockets. Oh, I didn't ask. Hmm. Well, while I find the troubles of our engineer most fascinating, sir, in future I would prefer to focus my energies on more important matters, such as the condition of my master's trophies. This must be a tough time for King Hugh. The fire is on the loose. Utopians getting struck down left and right. Dust collecting on his trophies. Oh, indeed. It's just terrible to see his royal highness so unhappy. Every night, I wind his precious royal music box. It begins to play its sweet little lullaby. And only then can my poor king sleep. Sweet dreams to your royal snookums, I softly whisper as I tuck his Highness in. <clears throat> Footman's duties, you wouldn't understand. 
Well, I'd better be going. I have a drawer full of socks to dust. Of course. One must have one's priorities. chance for your glasses in your pocket? I have no idea. I wish I had them right now. I think what Drew means is, look in your pocket! Oh! Okay! My glasses! I wonder who put them there. Say, do I know you? I'm Drew, and he's Flux. We're friends of King Hugh. We've come to help you with a cutifier. Wonderful! Welcome to Team Happy! <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working on. Gentlemen, this is the blueprint for Nefarious's Malevolator! Now then, you see the 12 things installed inside the ship's deck? The whistles, the dagger, and whatnot? Well, they power Nefarious's Malevolation Beam! We need 12 things to power the beam on our machine. But so far, I've only been able to find one. Well, I guess a scavenger hunt for the missing parts shouldn't take too long. We already have the blueprint. At least we know what we need to get. Not that easy. Use the same 12 things, get another malevolation beam. See? What we need are 12 different things. Things of a different nature. Things that will produce the reverse effect. Oh, right. You said you had one thing that worked? Why, yes, I do. Let's take another look, see, at the blueprint. The one thing that seems to work is sugar. It works when I put it right there where the spice is in the Farius's machine. But why? I haven't a clue. Well, break a rack, we better go. The sooner we get those missing parts, the better for all of us. Wait, you'll be needing the Malevolator blueprint for reference. No, oh, now where has it got to? Uh, you're still holding it, Wing Commander. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. I want to give you something that may help. A bottomless bag to carry all the parts in. Thank you, bric a -brac. Splendid. And please, feel free to come back here anytime. We can install different things into the cutifier to see if they work, or we can just talk. Okay? Okay. Thank you, new friends, and good luck! Hi guys, I'm Drew Blank, and this is my friend, Flux Wildly. We're building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. We're secretly building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. Oh, jeez. These are the palace guards. You think they don't know what's going on? Building a machine? Qtopia? So, what exactly do you guys do around here? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper. Two, three, four. Bippity bip bip bippity ba. Bip boop bip boop bippity ba. Ya da da da. Diddly da. Ya da diddly diddly da. Skiddly diddly dippity do. Oops. That's our little hello dance. It even has a message. That's right. It means hello. Here's hoping it made your trip to the palace today just a tiny bit brighter. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. You don't have to thank us. Your smile is payment enough. You guys must be in constant contact with King Hugh, right? Yes, indeedly do. Yes, sir, Uni. In that case, I wonder if you could help me. Of course. Helping you gives us yum-yum feelings all over. Right. Well, thing is, I've only met the king once, briefly. He was very kind to me but I'd really like to know a little more about him. The 
inside story. What can you two tell me about his royal smiliness? Well, he's our king. And his name is Hugh. Hip, hip. Hooray! That's it? That's it. Sure you don't need a pen and paper to write all that down? Boy, it sure has been a tough day, hasn't it, Flux? Yes. Oh, we, we sure could use some cheering up. Mayday, Mayday! Our friends have the frownies. Quick, the dance. Oh, no, wait. It hasn't been that tough. Two, three, four. Bippity, bip, bip, bippity, ba. Bip, boop, bip, boop, bippity, ba. Yeah, that. Oh, looks like the little fellows dropped something. Too bad. A locked door. Well, there's one problem solved. And 1,110 to go. Of course, that's only an estimate. It's too small. I'd probably break it. That is the king's personal calling cord. Sorry about that. See that it doesn't happen again. Wow, a secret trap door. Drew, you're a genius. I mean, I think you're a genius. You were looking for a trap door, right? Open. I think it's locked on the other side. Flux, I'm too big to climb that ladder. So, could you kinda go up there and dig around in Hugh's bed? <laughs> you want me to short sheet him? No, I want you to search for anything that might be useful. Party pooper. Hey, here's a voucher for a free costume rental at Ms. Fitz Costume Shop. 